In this tutorial in Microsoft Publisher, I'd like to show you how to create a booklet that's an 11 by 8 and a half, so it's landscape, where the left side is one page, the right side is another, and it has many pages. So a rather small but useful booklet. To do that, we're going to open a template. We're going to click the second one over, which is the landscape one, marked blank, 11 by 8.5 inches. It will give me a page that looks somewhat like this. But now I have to go into the page design option. So I'll click on the tab at the top above the ribbon for page design. Then I will click on the icon that says size. I have a, an option of many in this slider bar here, but the one I want isn't here. So there's one called more preset page sizes. You can barely see on the screen. And then I'm going to move over to booklets. Then in booklets, we're going to pick one that's one half letter, five and a half by eight and a half. That'll account for my margins in the middle. I'll drag it down so you can see five and a half by eight and a half. Click there and then click on OK. It says automatically insert pages. It prints them in groups of four. I'll say yes. And now I have one side of one page that will print out on an eight and a half by 11. And you notice my little master guide here. I have one, two, three, and four. Let's go ahead and put some text in there. I'll start by moving to the Home tab and creating a text box on the first page with Draw Text Box. We'll make it equal to the size of my margins. And then I copied some text from the clipboard, which I will proceed to paste. Now I've pasted it into page number one. I move to pages two and three, and I'll draw a text box in each of these. One for page two, and I'll draw one in page three. And then I'll click back to page one for now. And you, when you see the three dots, that means there's more content. I'm going to click on create link, move to page two and dump it in my empty text box. I'll create a link from two to three, click here and dump it into page three. Now we'll move to page four. It doesn't matter the sequence you use here. I'm just going kind of random here and create another text box. I'll go back to three and I'll do create link. Click on four and there's my page four. So now I have my booklet, booklet with one, two, three, and four. Let's say we need to add more pages. Click on insert page and it wants me to do a group of four I will do that and now we'll click on page my new page five Go back to the home tab draw my text box again go back to four link and drop we'll go to six create a text box I'll go to seven, create a text box. And I'll go back to page five and we'll create a link and dump it in six. We'll create a link in six and dump it in seven. And just for fun, we'll do number eight and we'll quit there. We'll draw another text box for eight. Go back to seven, click on that panel, create a link, move to eight and dump the contents into eight. So now I have an eight page document. Mm -hmm. 